The Sterling Heights Public Library has a vast collection of materials within the building consisting of over 250,000 items, 43 computer stations and more planned for later on this year, wireless internet access and programs and classes for all age groups. However, the library doesn't only exist at the corner of Utica and Dodge Park Roads. If you have one of these, it exists at home, at work, or anywhere you can get an internet connection. We've got a great website where you can find out the programming we have available. You can register for programs. Um, but one of the newest things is downloadable audiobooks and ebooks. I know a lot of people, a lot more people are getting MP3 players and um, ebook readers. I know that was a big thing uh, this past year. And now people are able to download those books and uh, ebooks from a website. We're part of a consortium in the state of Michigan that provides free access to thousands of audiobooks and um, ebooks to residents for free. The Midwest Collaborative for Library Services currently consists of several Michigan communities working together to provide an added service to their residents that otherwise would be impossible to do on their own. In a nutshell, what this service does is bring the library to you. With the growing popularity of ebook devices such as the Nook and the Sony Reader and the ever-increasing interest in audiobooks, the Sterling Heights Public Library's mandate to bring information to its residents has led to an expansion of services utilizing the technologies residents have made part of their lives. We want to provide library services um, in all different formats. You know, we provide materials in different formats. This is just another format. What we're doing is providing the service, the access to the books, the information, whatever. That's what the library is supposed to do, not check out a piece of paper, but to get, you know, what the the patrons, the public needs, wants. You know, you have the physical materials, but a lot of people are using um, downloaded materials. You know, they're getting things off the internet. We provide internet access in the library. Some people come in even with their own laptops to use our wireless. So this is just an extension of the library. They're still using the library. You do need to have a Sterling Heights Public Library card in order to access the site. Um, so you have to be in good standing with your library card. Um, it's just an extension of it. So. The service is here, and it's available 24 hours a day anywhere access to the internet is available. And it's easy to use once you get started. It's the getting started part that leaves some residents hung up. The first thing you need to do is access the library's website at shpl.net. Once there, select the link on the left labeled eBooks and Digital Audiobooks and you're going to click on that and it's going to take you to the Midwest Collaborative for Library Services site that we share with these other libraries and um, you're going to be able to select the book or books that you want again there are holds lists just like our physical materials if there are items that you want to check out um, you could get yourself on a hold list or there are some titles that are available all the time that as many people uh, as want to download that item they can um, the first time you use the site you do need to download software and depending on what type of device you have, whether it's a, a iPod or if it's a Sony e-reader, whatever your device is, you have to download different software. To get started, select the Quick Start Guide on the right side of the page. Then click on Step 1, Download and Install Free Software. Select an option that fits your needs and simply follow the steps to activate the software. There is a tutorial on the website um, that you can use to um, help you through the process. And um, it's step by step, tells you which software you want to download. It's nice, they, instead of doing like a giant half hour video, they have it all split up. So if there's just one part you're stuck on, you can look at that, just that section of the video or you can see the whole thing. Overdrive Media Console is free software designed to help you download and play. They also have um, their little FAQs, which answer a lot of the questions. People have a lot of software questions. Will this work? What should I download? That is really helpful. Once the free software is on your computer or other device, it's time to browse the catalog. But you will need to log on if you plan on checking anything out. This is where having your library card handy becomes necessary. It's basically asking for your library card number, you know, what library are you, what's your number, and for us it will ask for a PIN. 
Every library card carrying resident has a PIN number associated with their card. If you don't know it or you've forgotten it, you will need to come into the library to get it. The checkout desk at the library, you actually do have to come into the library to get your PIN. Um, everybody has one. You can change it if you don't like it, <laughs> you know, to something that's easy to remember. But you do have to get it um, from the, the checkout desk. So the work is done. Now it's time to have some fun browsing the catalog. There are a variety of ways to search for a book, including a number of categories under the fiction and nonfiction tabs. There is also a digital media search section where you can look up a particular author or title. And you can go to advanced search there, and this will let you tell it which format of book you want. If you want only an ebook or only the MP3 audio, for instance. That comes in handy because not all books are available in all formats. By clicking on a book, you can see the formats available, the number of copies that there are, and how many people are on the waiting list, if there is one. Since these files are digital, you may be wondering why the number of copies available to residents is limited. That's because in order for publishers to agree to have a service like this available, the collaborative must purchase copies of each book the same as they would for physical materials. Just like a traditional library, if one person has the material out, anyone else that wants it has to put a hold on it. Um, so Overdrive has worked with the publishers to provide access to it um, all legally and um, it's a really nice way for um, us to provide access to materials that people may not have the resources to be able to purchase for themselves. A helpful feature that can be found below a book's description on the site is called, if you like this title, you might also like you know, kind of like when you come into the library, you might ask a librarian, you know, well, I like this author, do you have any other suggestions? The website uh, for Overdrive does the same thing. Um, it also provides recently returned titles that people, again, might um, be led towards to choose because those are now available. Somebody just returned them. Um, but again, it's in a virtual environment and not uh, the physical, you know, library staff providing the suggestions. Um, so I think it's a nice addition. Once you've loaded up your book bag, you simply follow the steps to check out and download the file. It will then be available for listening or reading on the software you previously added to your device. The only thing left to do is enjoy it. I think one of the biggest benefits is that if you do have um, an MP3 player or an ebook reader, uh, you're able to get instant access to those materials right to your home. Uh, computer. You don't download them at the library. You do do it from home. So you have instant access to those materials. You don't have to make the drive if you're not able to or we may be closed that day that you're wanting material. Uh, this provides library access 24-7. You can do it in bed. Um, <laughs> you can do it from anywhere. Really that's that's the nicest thing is that it's it's accessible anywhere you have your computer with internet access. You no need to come back to the library to return it because it's automatically returned, so there's no uh, overdue fees, which is always nice. <laughs> um, and again, it's it's an extension. It's it's maybe trying a, a book or an audio book um, that you might not have picked up while you were at the library, but if you're browsing on the website, you might try it. Sherlock Holmes took his bottle from the corner of the mantelpiece. Um, you know, so you might be able to discover some new authors or um, new um, readers of audiobooks that uh, you never tried before. So it's, a, it's an easy, convenient way to um, get access to more literature.